and uh, happy to see everybody my senior friends my colleagues and my classmates uh, today is i am going to speak on metaverse in healthcare the new era is coming in anesthesiology and in clinical practice i am anesthesiologist working since last 30 years in baroda city so my lecture outline will be history definition which technologies are used in metaverse types of metaverse framework of metaverse how metaverse is framed with uh, all the companies in the world what metaverse can do and how it works applications of metaverse what metaverse has created in the world with metaverse what can we do in the day to day life even, even in our medical practice layers of metaverse and companies building metaverse how metaverse is looked in virtual platform today tomorrow and in the future metaverse in healthcare real lecture with benefits and medical variables first metaverse surgery in the world and in india metaverse in anesthesia challenges of metaverse in healthcare a recent real example of metaverse in social media just two months back it has came in the all uh, uh, newspapers in india conclusion thanks and welcome to metaverse world at the end of this lecture so i will ask you what is the metaverse i think this word since last 6 uh, months is going in um, news media print media and everywhere else by this uh, facebook and everywhere see and people are very eager to see that what is the metaverse so if you see that okay, metaverse is a word with the two uh, things meta and verse metaverse word was first coined 30 years before in 1992 by dystopian science fiction novel by snow craze written by nel stephenson i think uh, everybody must read this uh, novel it is available in gujarati also so the prefix meta which refers to the virtual world and suffix verse which refers to the physical world make them team metaverse so we are in the both double way in the world we are in the virtual world and we are in the physical world it is also called as a next generation internet and form of the parallel universe accessible to users through virtual and augmented reality technology now some of the technologies which you are not knowing then i will describe in some details about this then you will come to know that how the metaverse is uh, work in this uh, parallel to this technologies so definition of metaverse is the metaverse is defined as the convergence of the physical augmented and virtual reality we are having a three types of reality like uh, we are just now in the presence then we are augmented then we see that virtually it is a shared online space and this environment allows human to interact socially and economically as a avatar in a cyber space which acts as a kind of metaphor or object for the real world breaking down its physical or economic barriers so in just simple words you can go as a avatar in any any part of the world you can take uh, you can walk you can sit and stand you can have your your presence as a avatar in that uh, meeting also so it is an extension of the physical world beyond the universe you can see everything in your life with this metaverse so metaverse is nothing but next level of internet smartphone and social media is like instagram facebook whatsapp twitter having one advanced layer in real time of virtual presence just now all social media is all medical uh, uh, educations are going under artificial intelligence and machine learning and uh, internet of things now we have a one layer advance in the form of metaverse so which technologies are used for the metaverse there are mainly seven technologies are used in metaverse first is artificial intelligence second is augmented reality then virtual real virtual reality mixed reality blockchain internet of the things and 3d reconstruction i will give some of the definition of all this technology and how it works you can know that first is artificial intelligence everybody knows that it is the ability of the computer or a robot controlled by a computer to do tasks that are usually done by human so our all works will be done by the computer so it is called artificial intelligence it is one of the prime uh, prime part, participant in the uh, metaverse technology second is augmented reality it is an interactive experience of the real world environment where the objects that resides in the real world are enhanced by the computer generated perceptual information whatever your dreams you are dreaming that can be augmented with the reality 
and that is called augmented reality and it is sometime across the multiple sensory modalities including visual auditory haptic somato sensory and olfactory second is virtual reality it is a simulated experience that can be similar to or completely different from the real world virtual reality typically incorporates auditory and video feedback third is mixed reality it is a combination of this augmented and virtual reality and it is a mixture of physical and digital world unlocking natural and intuitive 3d human computer environmental interaction this new reality is based on the advancement of the computer vision graphical processing display technology and input systems so i have told you okay, you can walk swim even run in the metaverse that is with the mixed reality now again third term can fourth term can it is an extended reality it is a mixture of virtual augmented and mixed reality now internet of the things describe the network of the physical object all these technology are combined through the internet of the things and that uh, that are embedded with the sensor software and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging the data then 3d reconstruction suppose you are going as a avatar in this uh, metaverse so exactly of your style of this uh, uh, means uh, idol or something like uh, exactly dr tushar choksi is going in avatar then it will be seen as a tushar choksi only so in computer vision and computer graphics 3d construction is the process of capturing the shape and appearance of the real object and now all these data are connected and that, that make, uh, forms a database so it is called a blockchain it is a type of the shared database that differs from the typical database in the way that it stores information like our bitcoin blockchain stores data in a blocks that are linked together by the cryptography now some of the example of this technology in the metaverse uh, this augmented reality uh, vr uh, experiences like pokemon go some of the games in the we are entering in that game and we are really playing with that uh, uh, creatures of that uh, uh, that uh, play on the uh, internet so it is called augmented reality virtual reality implies a complete immersion experience that shuts, shuts down the physical world mixed reality which combines the elements of the both ar and vr with real world and digital digital interact i told about extended reality it covers all type of the various technology then artificial intelligence are examples like just now we are experiencing manufacturing robots self driven cars smart assistant every car is connected with the smart assistant that is called artificial intelligence blockchain it is a chain of block like bitcoin block containing information about the sender receiver number of bitcoin to be transferred and this is very important for the patient's data in our metaverse 3d reconstruction is used in the medical field through the medical imaging equipment to create a 3d reconstruction of the original objects after scan of a person's body sometimes in joint replacement you require a exact type of the knee joint so at that type 3d reconstruction comes in the way in the metaverse and internet of things all these technology are connected with the variety of sensors alarms camera light and microphones to provide security variable health monitors smart factory equipment ultra high speed and wireless internet so understanding all this technology you will see that how metaverse is going in the world now there are four types of the metaverse metaverse one is augmented reality then life logging then mirror worlds and virtual world so all this like augmented reality your reality is augmented life logging means all social medias are with this type of the meta metaverse mirror world mirror world means that whenever you are doing surgery then you can see suppose you are doing surgery on the renal system or kidney then you can see in 3d vision that kidney you can go inside the vessels you can go inside the pelvis like that mirror world and virtual world you can do any surgeries virtually with this way if i am here in baroda then i can do i can be present virtually in the even american theaters or london or ot like that so these are the examples like that way how this metaverse build so these are the frameworks for the metaverse which are the requirement each bucket is necessary for the development of the metaverse like hardware computer networking virtual platforms social medias interchange tools and standards payment services and con content service and assets so he is the first person mark zuckerberg he is a ceo of this uh, facebook he has uh, popularized this term meta and he has put a patent on meta word it is the metaverse defined mostly simply as a virtual world where people can socialize work and play and it's a trillion dollar of business 
believe me first 10 uh, best company in the world and most uh, uh, with assets these are the software company with meta metaverse so in metaverse world you can stand sit move walk through dance walk through dance fly swim swim ride through virtual vehicles and virtually present in various places and spaces so in near future senses like touch smell temperature and other will be added in metaverse it is already there touch and smell is already there in the temperature is also also already in the metaverse so what does the metaverse do the metaverse is can do whatever you want you dream it and it can do it embed then link the immersive content it inform escape tell stories it uh, it gives your presence in any form the metaverse is not a future it is already here it is a conversion about becoming not simply being how it works suppose you are you want to go in the metaverse then you are immersed with the virtual reality augmented reality and whatever the technologies i have described through the gateway like phones laptops and sometimes it is a uh microsoft company came with the holo lens then meta company came with the oculus and you can see the metaverse and you will enter in the metaverse world these are the application of metaverse which are used in social media education games real estate military healthcare and manufacturing almost all industries are using now metaverse so not metaverse has created gamific gamifications suppose you want to play a cricket in vankhede stadium so you don't have a chance to play with the any cricketers but through metaverse it is possible shopification i will give a very real example suppose in amazon you want to uh, buy some shoe pair some good company shoe pair then you will you will the uh, this uh, surf all these brand and everything but you want to really visit the italy's branded store then you will go in the virtual world with that branded store shop you can select the uh, shoes and then you can pay through the metaverse that is called a shopification or shopify experience of real estate you can buy the real estate in the metaverse you can have a travel experience of travel you can visit any part of the world without traveling from your destination experiences of automotive experience of learning and education experience of fitness experience of live music real time virtual presence experience of self health care so metaverse will not simply be a place we go into but but metaverse will be everywhere around us we do not have to jump in the metaverse metaverse around us is everywhere now with metaverse what we can do in day to day life these are the realities in today's life i told i i told you what i want to play cricket in vankhede stadium from my home it is possible i want to see english movie on friday first do first day first show from my home but not in multiplex it is possible i will be virtually present it, that in multiplex i will buy the ticket i can see the movie i want to travel whole world without traveling i want to give anesthesia in any hospital from my ot even i am in one ot in the baroda then i want to give uh, some of the anesthesia from in andabad so i can be present as a virtual i can uh, form a metaverse uh, ot then i can give anesthesia with my colleague i want to attend my any medical conference without my physical presence is it is possible i want to attend wedding reception of my friend son in other city virtually i will give the this last sentence very good example at the end of my lecture so welcome to reality and enjoy the journey these are the seven layers of metaverse what requirement is for the metaverse infrastructure like we are entering in 5g and within 5 uh, within 5 years we will be in the 6g Wi-Fi six cloud and GPUs. Then in, in human interface, mobile phones, smart glasses, variables, haptic gestures like this. We have to decentralize this all this metaverse world. Then spatial computing, creator anatomy, uh, economy, discovery and experience. See all these companies currently one sixty plus companies are operating across these seven verticals and they are together building the metaverse universe. So each companies are interrelated with each other. so one company is building some of this human interface some companies for infrastructure some is for decentralization but these seven companies building the metaverse right now these are the biggest player in the world these are all us companies one is for the games fortnite meta nantic nvidia microsoft decentral and apple all these are giants they are entering the metaverse yug we are telling that is metaverse age in 10 years 
we will say that our smartphone our laptop everything will go away and we will be having a, some like wearable glasses and you can create with your haptic all over everywhere you can create a screens so how metaverse looked in the virtual platform now just now i am giving the lectures and you are all people are with the zoom now zoom and microsoft team what they have started this and it is real real it is there so you can see like this in next slide how this metaverse uh, meeting is going on one person is a live one is as a virtual avatar so the idea of metaverse has incredibly potential providing completely new approach to human interaction and connection user can create ai enabled avatars of themselves to interact the digital meeting the recent change of facebook name of meta is evidence of the company's far sightedness and vision that metaverse will save the internet in coming years so this is the way the all future meeting will be like that you can dance see what uh, zuckerberg said that suppose if you have a dance party in your home and you you want to invite your friend from the distant uh, 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 like from different countries or different cities then he can join as a virtual avatar and he can dance with you it is a reality so this is the way even you can run with uh, any roads like uh, i want to run on the marathon running on the delhi road so i can run on that road virtually and this type of the meeting will be there the metaverse signals the end of the era of the smartphone we will be like that we are meeting so we will we all go accustomed to checking emails doing work paying bills and socializing over our mobile device but all of that is transi transi transitioning over the new systems so now everything will go away from the mobile phone mobile phone will be like a history now we are going from 5g 5g is just now entering in our age and we will witness about 6g in another 10 years and metaverse will be there with the, this all this technology now coming to the main topic with our interest is metaverse in healthcare our health industry is also not behind they have started using technologies like augmented reality virtual reality and artificial intelligence in software and hardware to enhance the proficiency of the medical device it expand the reach of medical care to primary to tertiary patient with digital medicine suppose i want to visit any doctors in uh, this uh, md anderson cancer hospital and uh, that doctor is not available with me any time and i i may not have the money even i cannot have the time to reach so he i can meet him as a virtually as a patient doctor relationship Uh, with metaverse so metaverse benefits in healthcare it reduces the surgical time it improves the accuracy it improves the communication it motivate and extend in entertain the patient it improves the safety of the patient it reduces the error in our all medical procedure it reduces the training cost also increase the confidence stored patient data digitally at least you can access uh, the patient's data any part of the world restoration of the patient so now some of the examples i will give with this metaverse metaverse in medical learning and training this is the most useful example of this metaverse in medical metaverse is used in the training of doctors and medical staff to take learners within the human body providing a 360 degree view of the elements or replicating the real world our first mbbs students are do not have to go to the anatomy lab they will just uh, go through the suppose if they want to see the kidney then they create a metaverse kidney avatar and they can see all the parts of the kidney through this metaverse training metaverse programs are used to simulate patients and surgical encounters allowing medical students to visualize and practice new techniques even procedures like we are doing a, the sonographic medical blocks means nerve blocks now it is in 2d form i can see the nerves on the screen of this usg machine now i can see with the metaverse 3d 3d images so i can really see the uh, uh, nerves which going through uh, one part to another part and i can put a local anesthesia and i put 100% blocks so medical schools are beginning to incorporate ar into their curriculum to provide students with valuable opportunities for hands on train learning in some of the us school they have started this metaverse training in first year mbbs immersive experience could be re recreated from real surgeries through metaverse where students will sense the feel of the re replayed real surgery as if they were the surgeons themselves suppose in first second third mbs we are not allowed to do any surgical procedure or something like that 
but in today's scenario even after 10 years patient can or this students can do real surgery replay with this metaverse metaverse patient doctor interaction we will have a holographic patient consultation suppose our patients are far behind than our uh, destination then we can have a holographic patient consultation remote expert consultation we can training the with simulation to our uh, students so with the promise of physically feeling and sensing the presence of human being the doctor patient interaction might be much more real in metaverse than it is today with available technology further advancement in virtual and augmented reality might make invisible invisible invasive investigation obsolete radiology is going very far away far ahead in this uh, uh, metaverse by scanning the whole body or testing the few ml blood the process of diagnosis will be complete much more efficiently see in 3d or this metaverse in uh, in 10 years you will believe that this ct scan mri and sonography they will be called as a metaverse mri metaverse ct scan or metaverse sonography and you can see the actual kidney inside and where exactly the tumor is lying with the metaverse technology this is the way the world is going on now in metaverse you are in the real uh, not in the real world but uh, you are in the virtual world so if you are living in a metaverse your physical self is supposed to stay at a constant place so you will not get physical injury and in short it will be less likely to get physical injury in metaverse and even infection there is no infection because you are not uh, physically going in the taking rounds and taking consulting and taking any uh, uh, just uh, contacting the patient so limited moving around means lesser chance of acquiring infection disease such as flu covid and sars in this era of covid it is much more needed even surgical procedure pre and post surgery assessment it is very good in this metaverse building on the existing use of surgical robot more complicated surgery are set to make increasing your uh, use of ar and metaverse whatever the surgery is not possible now it is 100% possible with this metaverse potential application range from the removal of the cancerous tumors or performing complicated spine surgery this developments will further enhance surgical precision and flexibility of the complex procedure i will come in the next slide but first metaverse surgery done in usa with this um, um, this technology pre surgery and post surgery assessment can also benefit from the use of augmented reality to optimize surgical outcomes even metaverse will transfer the patient's visit and support in metaverse the visit will be entirely virtual an avatar will meet the doctors just like it happens during classical face to face appointment so once the uh, uh, one of the best uses of themselves in the healthcare one can imagine that making doctors visit virtual not all visits require physical examination by doctors sometimes for, uh, for just consultation so everything is possible with patient doctors this uh, consulting wellness fitness and quality of life metaverse can help to improve quality of life of for people with dementia and the patients were better able to retrieve the old memories which improved mood and provided positive mental stimulation even transforming family visit to patient through virtualization see in this example i will say that some of my relatives suppose my relative is admitted in the london hospital and i am not able to visit there so i can visit virtually to any three uh, to, uh, in any time on 24 hours with that metaverse as a uh, this uh, uh, as a visit or as a consulting so in last, uh, recent two years a lot of hospital imposed restriction on the patient visit because of the covid and we can visit now this with virtually and radiology is one of the main service in the healthcare that depends on technology in last 10 years we have witnessed a lot of development in technology starting from scanner machine or software solution in unleashed new capability in this world radiologists can collaborate on medical images in 3d format while they are in different places or countries so these are the medical vari variables available just now even in this world that is from the meta oculus then from the holo lens from the microsoft then meta watch now all these smart watches are out of the way and the meta watch will come in the market you have to wear the glasses also like that so meta oculus is available in the amazon at 40000 to 50000 rupees and microsoft holo lens is available with the 40000 so many companies came with the metaverse uh, applications and even metaverse software and this is the costliest vr headset from the vr engineers 
see before you enter in the metaverse world you must have to wear some of like uh, you must have a, a metaverse t-shirts metaverse cap metaverse uh, this type of glasses and it is the worst, first world vr headset that is with auto eye and embedded lip motion so metaverse is going in one step ahead that with your eye movement and with your lip motions you can understand what your virtual avatar is doing in this platform so in short in metaverse healthcare you can have a health education you can have a surgery and procedure training health training and virtual visit both the way with the patients and with the doctors and he is the first surgeon he is called timothy vidham from the john hopkins hospital he is a neurosurgeon i call him as a first metaverse surgeon in the world he did first metaverse surgery in just two years back and he uh, first surgery done on june 8 he has picked six screws in the patient's spine for spinal infusion and uh, for three vertebrae and second surgery he has done on the chondroma which it was not possible and he has removed the cancerous tumors from the spine so what he says when using augmented reality in the operating room it's like a having a gps navigator in front of your eyes in a natural way so you do not have to look at the separate screen to see your patients even our india is not far behind immersive technology came in the market and the first surgery in india done by aims people was the neurosurgeon dr deepak gupta has done uh, first introduced the immersive touch vr platform to prepare for an extremely rare surgical procedure to separate the craniofigus twins and what he says we could see feel and study connected tissues discuss anatomy and examine surgical pathway so our team of roughly 40 doctors from pediatric neurosurgery anesthesia plastic surgery and cardiovascular science used to immersive touch platform to practice the surgery multiple times and plan the most effective surgical roadway so it converts the 2d medical images into 3d spatial models so in short metaverse uh, uh, is in the uh, very good way in the this uh, uh, medical world so need no need for expert consultation in foreign countries with metaverse you can visit any part of the world we will be a superman with our extra vision in short through metaverse medical consultation metaverse medical education metaverse pharmacy even mass data enriched metaverse treatment modalities pre planned surgeries and anesthesia online pain management and even psychiatric stimulation to remove post traumatic stress syndromes are reality today these all are these all are happening just now and the Uh, in future you can think uh, what, what metaverse will do in the healthcare in india also some of the companies are coming as a uh, with augmented reality and virtual reality base dr neeraj raj immersive raman talwar simulins anuj mathur q3 technologies and vijay karuna karans pnq in engage so these are the healthcare company for the metaverse they are coming in the market for indian scenario now you just see that how this metaverse is will uh, be in the future <clears throat> since training part you can create your own skull you can see the inside the skull this is see with the 3d reconstruction you can remove the some of the part of the skull you can see inside the skull you can see all the vessels on the face in details you can remove remove the maxilla bone also from that you can see all parts of the body with this technology you can measure also even you can see the inside the heart by transacting virtually you can go uh, inside you can uh, have uh, like that you can see all the valves and chambers in the heart this is really good technology so Uh, we never thought that we could see inside the brain but now we can do this using 3d models 
even smallest tumor in the brain or smallest tumor in the any part of the or body organ we can come out with the metaverse technology now this augmedics it is the first metaverse company which started a israeli company that started a uh, metaverse in that technology and uh, in healthcare and through these augmedics uh, this john hopkins surgeon has done this surgery even striker the laparoscopic giant and zimmer biopod that is orthopedic giant that came with a very good way in the uh, this lab, uh, metaverse part and now these technologies are even emerging with this uh, uh, orthopedic procedures and laparoscopic procedure in a very uh, advanced way even microsoft came in the with microsoft teams with the virtual avatar like that they can they can go through the 3d models of the human body and so microsoft acquired a vr company alta space vr in the 2007 and has has since implemented metaverse features such as virtual avatar and meeting held in virtual reality in the microsoft team just now also in microsoft team if you are uh, uh, doing this meeting then we can put our avatar in that meeting and various procedure using a vr headset this allows the surgical student to perfect the university of the connecticut cut i told you in the before that they have started in first year training this uh, metaverse training more people choose to tele consultation and home based healthcare and these are the company came with the apps and uh, applications metaverse for educational assistive therapeutics organ and muscle group individuals and populations these are the uh, pioneers in this metaverse companies with other company now i'll come with the metaverse in nssa in my topic what we can do in metaverse in nssa we can do pre anesthetic checkup virtually just now i'm going to visit my pre anesthetic checkup at the each and every hospitals sometimes with the video call but now i want to take the temperature i want to take the pulse rate i want to take the bp in pre anesthetic checkup i want to put a ecg i want to see as a ecg so i have a metaverse anesthesia consulting i will be called as a metaverse anesthesiologist so it is possible now actual seeing anatomy in regional anesthesia and actual anatomical complication by wearing vr headset so just now we are doing all blocks and everything with uh, usg guided now it is uh, definite block will be done by 3d model with 3d usg machine 3d mri 3d ct scan even used to educate the patients virtual teaching and training we can teach my subordinates my uh, uh, juniors everywhere everywhere in the world if i am doing some training program then i can tell them that you remain as a virtually presence in my this uh, procedures and you can see that even conference and seminars now we see that in last two years there is a hybrid conference some physical plus uh, uh, this uh, uh, this webinar now it is called as a hybrid with metaverse so with avatar presence aiding help to any distant colleagues to alleviate post operative pain so in uh, in my term i call as a digital anesthesiologist and digital patients it is like that our smartphone will go away our monitors will go away we just our we will create our own screen we will create our own virtual everything virtually and we will be here. see the requirement of metaverse to enter in the metaverse world is you must have one some variables with this this two uh, stick joy you can create everything like that you can see behind the screen that some of the screens even i can create my virtual theater in any part of the world the same operation theater i can virtually do in my bedroom also so i can operate from there this is the way but some of the challenges in healthcare the coin has two sides privacy and security in metaverse healthcare is one of the biggest industry that suffers from the data security breaches and the price of this data is considered one of the pricey data in the world a lot of patient become more aware of the privacy and security of their healthcare data and they have more concerns and they consider it kind of sensitive data sometimes it is a very high cost of technology i told you that uh, glasses are available from 40000 to even 7 lakh rupees so to enable the full potential of metaverse in healthcare it will require a high tech hardware like glasses gloves sensors other variables that can be read read the vital signs of the patients and the hardware cost is still not cheap and cannot be afforded by the whole society but if you see the scenario of even smartphone era the smartphone which was available at 1 lakh rupees just now it is available at 10000 rupees so down line the 10 years it will become a very uh, means uh, cost will go down 
this technology will be limited only those to who can afford it in addition to this the device will always continue to evolve and modernize therefore taking advantage of new capability new capability will also require the purchase of new equipment in line with the development that is like smartphone they are almost updated more than once a year even interoperability see microsoft should work with the combination with meta meta should work with the combination with nvidia nvidia should work with the even immersive so interoperability interoperability is one of the main digital health challenges all over the world even the most advanced healthcare system and the biggest disadvantage is metaverse would world also sometimes with fraud sex abuse and anti social activities and for that strict cyber laws and regulations are necessary in future just recently in recently past you must have read in the times of india or something like one lady enter in the metaverse as the avatar and she was abused in this uh, other avatars in that and they have touched touched her and they have done some ex sex uh, abusing and so these are possible now so some strict rules should be there by the government and the d health company from the british it is the world first ma uh, healthcare metaverse from d health see this british people are always ahead than this they have got a excellent nhs system so this british non profit organization is revolutionizing the healthcare industry the company announced that the start of the creation of the decentralized metaverse which will take millions of doctors and patients to new to a new world there they can work interact with the each other in full 3d format and on visual assets by selling their anonymized anonymized medical data and this is the real events happen in chennai just two uh, three 15 days before wedding reception of the metaverse in chennai first wedding reception in the world where 6000 people have joined across the world only physically 100 were present and all people have enjoyed the reception of these two guys food served at their physical destination by food delivery and everybody was uh, given between 8 to 9 in the uh, evening time the food delivery at their destination suppose i am attending this reception in baroda then i was served by zomato or this swiggy the food and this was first arranged in asia on 6 february even the best part is that the it is also attended by brides dead father creating his avatar so what else you require so i told you okay even our father and mother they are not there then they can see our marriage or reception like that our sons or daughters as a avatar and this is real uh, now there are five six uh, uh, reception has and wedding has done in india so far and this is the way the world is going on so in conclusion metaverse is in early development stage but still it is and it will be a part of people's lives in all healthcare fields including anesthesia for medical education disease di disease diagnosis with treatment and disease prevention the metaverse technology will transfer transform healthcare and anesthesia practice in the near future if it came with the true innovation to meet people imagination and expectation healthcare is not only about treating the symptoms but also about the treating the condition causing the symptoms this can be facilitated by the virtual reality augmented reality and artificial intelligence solution in the metaverse metaverse technology holds limitless prospects in the healthcare field it must be developed in a way that it does not go beyond the human relationship between the patient and doctor respecting each other and privacy security metaverse holographic 3d images so inside the organs essentially for training surgical procedure and diagnosis in future hololens variables and holographic usg mri ct scan will be change the healthcare and anesthesia world finally companies healthcare workers and creatives will have to figure out how to create this technology in a way that, in a way that it is not only safe for the patients but also meet the human aspect and respect so at the end medical metaverse will be advanced through existing technologies and inter integrated with new themes like telehealth and digital therapeutics so i am my verdict is i am looking forward to the next decade future for this exciting metaverse development that will help our medical community and our patient to get the best access state of the art healthcare and in uh, my term, terminology i call the metaverse in healthcare as a metaverse new mode of healthcare i have removed t and i put a d so thank you guys and welcome to the metaverse health world and uh, i am an anesthesiologist and still now metaverse resident so you can ask me anything if i am able to answer thank you